It's my great honor to be the, uh, presenting the David Barry uh, Dart Achievement Award. We've had this going on for a long time. Most of you may not know who David Barry is, so I wanted to give a quick uh, overview. Uh, he was actually a very good friend and helped me form Triangle Pharmaceutical, a company that uh, I founded many years ago that actually developed uh, FTC. Uh, FTC. I think you're familiar with FTC. Most of you uh, have, have worked on it, uh, whether it's animals or cell culture. Uh, it's a great drug, 3TC, FTC. They're very similar, but there are some slight differences. Uh, but nevertheless, they're very widely used. So uh, the award has been given to a number of uh, eminent scholars, uh, Bob Silicano, um, Dario Azuda, Dr. Mitsue was here, Brendan Larder, Dale Kempf, uh, Sam Broder, Julio last year, and this year we selected Ra uh, Ron from the University of Miami. Thank you, Ron, for coming. Uh, Ron, for coming. I really appreciate it. And I think you also brought your wife with you, so it's great to, I don't know if she's in the audience, but hopefully uh, we'll get to meet her again. So David Barry was uh, a, uh, an interesting character because he started in the French, doing French literature, um, worked in, in the Sorbonne for a while uh, with Sartre and some of the uh, big, big uh, literature people in France. He actually was a Renaissance man. He's also known for being the co-inventor of AZT, the very first antiretroviral agent. There was other inventors, of course, um, Mitch Mitsuya, as well as uh, uh, Sandy Lerman, and some people, a lot of people you know, who are in Phil Furman. A number of people were, were involved in this, uh, Danny Bolognese's contribution, and many others uh, who were, uh, were involved in AZT, which was actually the first uh, antiretroviral agent that opened up the field for people like myself and others. Uh, it directed also the development of a cyclovir, a drug that's used for still being used widely, valacyclovir and cyclovir, which are important antiviral agents for herpes viruses, infection, especially herpes type 1 and type 2. He actually worked at the FDA for five years prior to joining Wellcome. Uh, and he worked for 18 years uh, at Wellcome, rose to become president of the Wellcome Research Labs and chairman of the intercompany collaboration on the AIDS uh, drug development. And this is really the uh, first time that companies got together to work together to combine drugs, to be able to combine drugs, which is what we have today. So it was very, he had the vision to do combination chemotherapy, which is very important. And of course, he was a founder when he left uh, Welcome or Welcome Merge with Glaxo. He left and uh, we formed Triangle Pharmaceutical together and uh, with uh, two other people, Dennis Carson and Carl Hosettler. And that company eventually got uh, swallowed up by Gilead. Ron, on the other hand, has been most of his life academic. Uh, he became professor of microbiology and microbiology at the Harvard Medical School, where he also ran the uh, primate center, which, no, which is defunct now. But that's, uh, that was, he worked for many, many years there. Uh, and then he moved, finally, he was convinced to go to warmer climates, climate at the uh, University of Miami, thanks to uh, Mario and others. He is now very well established in, at the University of Miami where he loves it and I think his wife loves it too, even more. It's a beautiful uh, place, uh, Miami, especially in the, this time of the year and January as well. He's currently director of the faculty development and a tenure professor in the Department of Pathology. And that's an old picture of you, Ron, but hopefully it does you justice. His education briefly, Boston University, 1970, Michigan State University and Harvard. And also he has uh, two honorary degrees, one from Harvard and one from a German university, Friedrich Alexander University. Uh, you can see the dates there. He lists over 300 publications on his CV and is recognized by ISI as one of the world's most uh, highly cited scientists of, because of his work on SIV as well as other uh, or, or, um, uh, viruses. He received the several awards, which I'm not going to list here. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm, not, I'm listed there, but I'm not going to discuss them in details. He also has had the two merit awards from NIH, which is very prestigious. He's been uh, doing reviews for a number of your grants, uh, and also been involved in section editor of AIDS Research and Human Retrovirus, PLOS-1, uh, Journal of Virology, uh, served on uh, Scientific Advisory Board of Elizabeth Glazer Award, Award of the Pediatrics AIDS Foundation. 
and also was elected to the uh, American Academy of Microbiology. Perhaps his uh, most seminal accomplishments are listed here, but many others, I'm sure. He was actually the first person to discover simian immunodeficiency virus. And I think that's a, a, a testament to his, uh, I don't know what you should have called it some other name, maybe uh, this Rosier virus or something else. I'm not quite sure, but <laughs> some other name. But certainly he's worked on this virus for many, many years and continues to work on this. You'll hear from him later during the meeting. He will be talking some of his uh, new findings with some antibodies uh, using AV vectors. Very interesting. He's also a discovery of rhesus monkey rab uh, radinovirus. Uh, the, some of the D viruses as well, uh, identification of the first infectious pathogen molecular clone of any lantivirus and its use uh, study in AIDS pathogenesis in monkeys. He uh, characterized uh, the relative importance and functional contribution of auxiliary genes uh, uh, of SIV, uh, identification of the natural causes of human infected uh, with, uh, inf with attenuated HIV, including the first report of a human infected with a NEF deleted HIV, demonstrated um, potent vaccine protection in uh, using live attenuated SIV deletion mutants. Uh, some of the early work directed, uh, uh, direct, uh, demonstrated, he demonstrated the SIV recombination in monkeys, uh, demonstrated the important role of carbohydrates in protecting SIV from antibody mediated neutralization and characterization of the most important transforming gene of gamma-2 herpes viruses. And um, also, I think uh, Ron has been, in, uh, has been a strong advocate for basic and uh, discovery research in the world of AIDS uh, vaccine effort, but I'm sure also because he uses monkeys, he's been using also antiviral agents. I'm not going to take any more of the time, but uh, today he is going to give us a Vista from 30,000 feet of the discovery of SIV and development of monkey models for the study um, of HIV AIDS. Uh, as you know, monkeys are extremely important uh, for cure research, and we have a cure research following his talk. I'm not going to spend any more time. I'm sure uh, Mario and others have other anecdotes to tell, but we'll, tell that we'll save those maybe for uh, the dinner tonight and, um, uh, and we'll, we'll honor him again. So Ron, if you'd like to come up and present your talk and, and then we'll give you the award right afterwards, depending how well you talk. <laughs>